All right, what's up everybody? So today we're gonna be taking a look at a vehicle that's kind of unique. You know, it's something different. And uh, well, just by the title and the thumbnail of the video, you already know what the vehicle is. It's a Buick Rendezvous. That's right. Now, when I first seen the Buick Rendezvous, I've never reviewed one before, but when I first saw it, the vehicle that came to mind was the Chevy Aztec. If some of y'all remember that. Look at that Chevy Aztec on the screen. Wow, what a interesting looking vehicle. So anyways, today we're gonna get inside the Chevy, uh, no, the, <laughs> the Buick Rendezvous right over here. We're gonna pull it out, take a look, and see what the Rendezvous is all about. Here we go. All right, everybody, so to get things started out today, let's go ahead and unlock the rendezvous. Still got these old manual keys and manual locks. I guess there's no little key clicker to unlock this car, but anyways, we're making our way in to the rendezvous. Whoa, sunroof. Whoa, price tag. Man, look at the price. $27.50 for a Buick Rendezvous, I mean, what a deal even comes with a cd player maybe even has a cold air conditioner system right yeah i hope y'all are enjoying my close-up cinematic shots here today but let's go ahead and crank her up and see what's going on all right she's cranked right up let's cut the uh, air off for a moment so y'all can hear how it runs well, it's running. It's pretty quiet. Engine sounds pretty sturdy. Yeah. Um, does have a service engine soon light on, basically meaning it probably needs an oil change or some kind of engine service. But that's a better light to have on than having a check engine light. The mileage on the car right off the get-go is 141,668 which really isn't too bad on this older car. And uh, before we pull it out and all, let's just take a look at a few things. This complicated aspect of register. All right, so Rush Limbaugh's voice sounds just fine and not very crackly, so that's a good thing. Speakers work. Let's see if the air conditioner works. All right. Now, right now the heat is on, so let's just test the heat out. You can hear those fans uh, blowing pretty good. Let's go ahead and take it off of this. And see if it comes right out of these vents for us. Okay, that's working. And uh, the heat works, I can feel it. So that's a good thing. All right, let's uh, go ahead and try out the uh, air conditioner. These are all important things that people want to know about used vehicles that they may buy. And uh, cut that on. So the AC is on. And I'll be doggone it, man. It's actually blowing cold. Yeah, baby, yeah. So we got cold AC. You know, this is great. The other thing right now that's great is that I had a lady, actually a mom, that came in earlier to look at this vehicle because I got it listed up on Facebook. And um, she lives out in Walterboro. And she's at, that's out. That's a little. That's a little. Walterboro is a little town that goes out that way, out in the country. A lot of people live there, though. And um, she's going to pick up her son right now. And she's going to uh, bring her son back to look at this car. So we walked. Me and her walked all around this car lot today, looking at vehicles. And uh, she came right on back to the old Buick Rendezvous. And he said, "Mama." come pick me up I want to take a look at it but they need a vehicle because you know the day after tomorrow is Thanksgiving and according to his mom his car blew up last night transmission went on it or something went bad on it and uh, unfortunately I think I'm gonna have that problem coming soon because my little Honda that I drive to work every day the transmission is starting to slip and act up on mine but anyways I know how that feeling is needing a car I need one too but let's go ahead and get the little Buick Rendezvous parked over here and uh, 
let's go see what it's all about. Let's go ahead and walk outside. Stay with us. So the Buick Rendezvous, you know, if you need some room, if you need interior space, you know, this might be the car for you. So basically while I put my good old flannel on, cause it's getting time to be winter. You know, the little story today about this Buick Rendezvous and it could sell before the end of the video is this. The boy needs a car. He's got a girlfriend with two kids and um, so he needs a little bit of space for the children and also they got two dogs so two children two dogs is that going to be the perfect car for him i don't know but we're going to know in a little bit here because they're on the way back up here within the next hour or so so we got to get moving on this review here we go all right everybody so let's go ahead and start looking at the exterior of the rendezvous boy this car says americana don't it? Oh, it sure does. It's Buick. And Buick has came a long way in the automotive industry for sure. I mean, Buicks nowadays just don't look like this anymore. And they're definitely not your, maybe your grandmother's car anymore, that soft riding car. Buicks nowadays in the year 2019 or 2018, you know, those are these are cars that are sporty and they're in, they're in competition with Chevrolet and Ford and GM and well, heck, even freaking uh, Cadillac in a sense, right? But you don't see a whole lot of Buicks on the road as much. Anyways, they are nice cars, though. I'll give them that for those new Buicks. This is, again, very similar looking to an Aztec. I would actually say the Aztec is probably not as good looking as the Buick Rendezvous. But again, looks like the same exact kind of chassis and even the same size. But the Rendezvous just looks a little bit better in the front. Now, some may disagree with me and say, oh, I love the Aztec. And I always have and always will, Chad. Well, that's your opinion. My opinion, I think I probably would drive the Rendezvous. I don't know, though. Hold on. Time out a minute. R realistically here, maybe I would drive the Aztec over the Rendezvous because it's an Aztec. And there's just so many memes and funny things said about an Aztec. And you definitely get a lot more head turns on the highway driving an Aztec than a Buick Rendezvous. So maybe I would since I'm a little out there. But anyways, the taillights are massive in size. I mean, think about a Honda Accord taillight, right? Triple X supersized. I mean, that's what this looks like. It looks like a Honda taillight, but just huge in size. It is a hatchback, opens up just like so, to opening up to a lot of room in the back. I mean, good gracious. Now, please take into consideration, this car has not been cleaned yet. Our detail guy, I don't know if he took the week off for Thanksgiving or what, but he just hasn't made it in yet to be able to review or, to, no, actually be able to clean the car. So, again, please take into consideration the vehicle has not been cleaned yet. But, you know, I actually think it's a little bit better for y'all to see the cars before they even get cleaned. Because then you know what it looks like and how the previous person took care of it. But, yeah, it's... It needs a good cleaning for sure. And that's just normal dirt and dust in there from sitting up under a tree, you know, things like that. Okay, the shocks still work, which is definitely a plus. Um, there is no third row seat in the back of a rendezvous, so you got a ton of storage space to throw all your luggage in here and trash. You got your mats straight out of the uh, auction line. That's how they come. Now our detail guy, he usually does pretty good and gets in here and cleans them up and shampoos them off and all that. So. You know, we got to give him a little time. He hasn't made it in yet. Just like all those stains back there. He will get in here with a, with a garden hose. I've seen him do it. And he takes that garden hose and gets in here and sprays it out. He doesn't have a pressure washer, but he's got a garden hose. And he gets in here and scrubs and cleans. And boy, when he gets done cleaning the inside of a car, he looks like a poodle after getting in the bath. I mean, he's soaking wet, but he is cleaning that car. And I give it to him for that because, man, it takes a good man to get in there and clean a car. You know, and just a good cleaning will definitely make this thing shine up very nicely. So, the Rendezvous is definitely a Rendezvous, and it's from Hilton Head Pontiac Buick GMC. I know exactly where that dealership is. I used to go in there every once in a while and say hello to the guys in there. Now, we do got a broken tail light here, okay, but the light bulb still works. 
you can go to your local auto parts store and get some of that red tape and cover that right on up, okay? That's my, what you want to do. You also, you always want to look inside of here, folks. Don't forget about that. When you're looking at a used car, look inside the gas cap area. That'll be a telltale if the car was ever had a good cleaning. Okay, a good detailer will get in there and wash those out. It don't take much work. You just spray some degreaser in and clean it out. The wheels. You got Bridgestone tires that definitely need some new tires on here. I mean, they're getting pretty bald right over there. Does have the uh, good old Buick alloys. The back tires are a lot worse than the front. I mean, those tires are pretty much bald. Okay, that's a bald tire. I mean, almost as bald as my hiney. Right. I think I got a little more hair on my honey than this does. So anyways, it's going to definitely need some tires. I told my customer that earlier. I said, ma'am, you know, I'm going to figure out how to put some tires on this car for you. If you buy it today for that price on that window, I'm going to get you some tires. And I'm definitely going to try to do that. It does got the fogs, the lights work, the blinkers work, all that's good. So again, the price on this Buick Rendezvous is $2750 cash. Would you buy this car today with new tires for $2750 cash? I think so. You know, this is actually a pretty darn, darn good deal. You got cold AC, you got a warm heater, radio works, drives pretty good, fuel efficient, and uh, you know, hey, even got a sunroof for those beautiful Carolina skies. Look at that storage here. More storage. Well, I don't know what stores in there, but you even got the books and manuals. Wow, wait. I mean. The 2006 Buick Rendezvous. Man, 2006 was a great year for Buick. You know, they had this Rendezvous that came out and just the entire nation was wild and really excited when this car pulled through at the Detroit Auto Show back in 2005. You know, people were like, man, we never thought Buick could actually develop and make something like this for a family. And they did. Rear air in the back, even got a dime and a penny right down there for you. Definitely somebody had a dog before. We still got a little hair back here. But I like the uh, the way it's designed and how the seats drop down and all that good stuff. Perfect for a family. All right, it's starting to rain, guys. Let's hop in, take it for a spin, and then we'll be done reviewing this car. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and get our seatbelt strapped on and uh, see how the rendezvous drives. You definitely want to be secured in the car. Roll up your sleeves because you know you're about to get down and dirty driving this thing. With 141,000 miles, Rendezvous should do a pretty good job on the test drive. Let's go ahead and get our wipers on and get this water off of here. Okay. Oh, look how the wipers actually move. That's pretty sporty. Kind of like an F1 style race car, the way those wipers go. Ready for the 24 hour Le Mans down in Daytona Beach, Florida. But, uh, Anyways, let's see how this feels here. We got our local car salesman out there on the phone working deals, trying to get the next appointment before the holiday comes. And you know, that's how the car business is sometimes. You know, you're outside on the phone, just jibber jabbing, talking away, and trying to find the next customer. Well, Mr. Chad here is a little different. We try to put them up on the internet, make videos of them, and post them on the marketplace on Facebook, and that seems to be doing the job in the year 2018. Going into 2019 though, things may be different. Anyways, let's cut this AC off for a moment. And let's give this car a run for the money. I'm gonna roll my window down so we can hear the engine. Here we go. Incredible. Smooth shifting even in the rain. You know, I'm not joking around here, folks. This is actually a pretty damn decent car for 2750. You know, don't let its outside appearance throw you off. You know, we got cars on the lot out there right now that are uglier than this, and they run. Actually, I meant to go, I, I didn't mean that, whoopsie. <laughs> we got cars on the lot that are prettier than this, because this thing is pretty ugly. But we got prettier cars than this that run worse than this. So again, don't let the looks fool you. You know, it's that old saying, you know, you go out partying one night with the guys, 
and you, you know you pick up this chicky wicky and uh, you know she might not be a 10 or he may not be a 10 maybe a 5 right but it's been a long week for you or a long month and you ain't had no loving in quite some time and one too many beers comes around and <clears throat> well needless to say that number five blew your mind away blew you away guys or girls you know there's some ugly fellas out there there's some ugly girls out there so I'm trying to put both of y'all in the same damn court a good-looking man like myself or a good-looking woman like yourself you may be a pain in the damn ass you know, so I want you to remember that. A beautiful car on the car lot may look pretty, sitting in your driveway, but may be a pain in the ass when driving down the road trying to get back and forth to work every day. So, I don't know about you, but sometimes it might be better to settle for something a little uglier, but it's gonna run smooth and take care of you every day. I'm down with that. Man, the cooking is good, the food is good, and the loving is just love potion number nine. Anyways, I wasn't trying to go off on a rant about pretty men, good looking men, or ugly ones, but I'll tell you one thing, this rendezvous has got some sweet loving about it, and I really like it. I mean, it sits up off the ground just enough so you don't feel like you're low to the floor. And it's quiet. Listen how we're creeping through this parking lot right now. We're creeping through. Now here's a good example. There's a Dodge Challenger SRT8. You think you're gonna be able to creep through the parking lot in that car? Oh heck no. And what if that car breaks down on you or squeals the tires or starts pulling off to the right? It might be pretty, it might have some muscle, but I can guarantee you that thing right there could be a pain in the butt. So anyways, same with that Cadillac right there. It looks pretty, that big old DeVille with them 20 inch rims, but she's gonna cost you some money when you take her to the grocery store or the dinner plate. Just saying. Same with that Tahoe. It might look good, but there's a reason it's sitting in the back getting a bypass glossic bypass surgery. That Infinity, it might look good. And we might have sold it not too long ago. But it's back. So that's what I'm getting at, folks. All these pretty cars. I wasn't joking. Look at the tag on the back. All these pretty cars out here, I know y'all like them. But please do remember, pretty cars are going to cost you some money to get fixed when things go wrong. All right, everybody, just trying to be real with you in a sensible kind of logical way, maybe down, breaking it down in layman's terms. But thank you for watching the video with us today. This might not be the end. And uh, we may have one more clip after this. We're going to see what happens if we sell this car tonight. Stay with me. everybody so you know your boy Chad went out to the pot store today and he got himself some little tools for his videos so today's video is brought to you by A&W Root Beer I doubt they'll ever sponsor me but I figured I'd go ahead and get it out there